Good morning, folks. I just prepared our second cup of coffee this morning. We are still using the tea kettle with some instant coffee, which means it's the perfect time to do last night's dishes. I left the last video saying that I did all my dishes outside. I did not want you to think that we were dumping all of our food and everything out onto the ground because in the state of Arizona, instead of being gray water, that is actually considered black water. And it's a big, big no-no. So, last night's dishes, there was a lot more in there. We let Marco help us start the cleaning process. So I know it was gross, but that's why we have dish soap. It doesn't take a whole lot to do all these dishes. Supposedly Dawn is good for the environment. So we're hoping. And then some of the leftover, I, there is a little bit of water in there because I put too much in the kettle to start with. And now just a little bit of hot water. Believe it or not, it really does not take a whole lot of water or a whole lot of soap to do dishes. We tend to go crazy when we live in a place with running water. We're like, whoa, water. But when you have to buy it or, or chuck it in or however you get your water and store it, you don't want to have to use more than necessary. So I've got my little scrubby. We take the regular sponges and cut them down because that way we, when we're, we're out camping, they don't take as much room. So this is what's left over of our sponges. I'm going to pause here for a moment and see if I can set this up so you can see while I work. The tripod is buried in the shed somewhere, so I'm just going to work with this. It's been sitting for two or three minutes, so as you can see, it's getting a lot easier to work with here. It doesn't really take a whole lot. We did not use the lid. So I'm just placing everything in the lid. The spatula we used for eggs. Everything likes to stick to the spatula. I'm sorry I can't quite get this all in view. Let me see if I can zoom out some more. Nope, that's it. Anyways, I'm going to do these dishes real quick. As you can see, just a little bit of soap and a little bit of scrub. Everything starts to come clean. With this heavily stuck on stuff here on the sides, I just bring the water up to it, give it a, a gentle scrub, and let it sit for a moment. That usually tends to work. then I let it sit and I go back to it. Might take a couple times, but again, I'm saving on the water, saving on soap. You can hear that it's still a little stuck there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up so you don't have to watch me scrubbing dishes. Be back in a moment. All right, so I've gotten all the food particles off the dishes. I'm letting the uh, paper towel soak up the extra water so I can wipe out the food particles so that I'm not dumping them onto the ground. In the meantime, I'm going to bring the husband his coffee. We did put up a few more decorations in the house. I'm just not really big on Christmas. 
going all out and this is his Christmas wall. I really don't mind. I've always collected knives myself. So it was kind of funny. Said he was waiting for Krampus instead of Santa Claus. And then that's my little corner here. So anyways, we're going to open up the side door back here because that's where he's working. There he is. Here, honey, I made you some coffee. Whoops, careful. Look what he's working on. He's working on the extension. Woohoo! Anyways, back to the dishes because you know that's exciting. Let me dump this paper towel out into the trash bin in here. Not sure which is more environmentally friendly, letting food go back to the earth or using paper towels to clean it up. Sorry again, I don't have I my tripod. I do have a tripod because I used to do photography, but it's in the uh, shed somewhere. All right, so that's mostly clean. Don't let any food particles go into the ground. One more time, wipe off these other dishes real quick. I'm gonna put you down again, see if I can Speaking of environmentally friendly, I got some lettuce for the rabbits, the jackrabbits that keep going in and eating my succulents. I'm going to try and regrow it. Let's see. Are you guys nauseated yet with my camera work today? Let's see if I can get this to uh, stay. Doesn't want to stay. All right, just wipe these down real quick here. So no more food, big food particles left on the dishes. We'll take them outside to my rinsing station. I'm gonna put a jaw and paw so I can carry thing, everything out to the rinsing state. Unfortunately, somebody there is a gun range out here, and somebody's firing a gun. And the dog is terrified of guns. He's looking for a place to hide since we're both outside. He wants to be outside too because he has abandonment issues. So, let's see how I can do this so you guys can see. I don't know. So here's my stack of dishes. We have a wire cage around the cactus barrel that he found so that it doesn't get hurt. Um, I can't just grab a chair or something because he has it all tied in. Let's see. Put you on pause while I find something. So sorry about this. Okay, I think that might work. Start grabbing my dishes, come around the other side here. So we've got this pump sprayer we got from Home Depot. It's about dead. We picked up a new one yesterday from Harbor Freight. Just gonna give it a quick rinse. Oh, I guess there was a couple particles I missed here. Quick rinse, and then what I'm going to do is throw them on, 
throw the water on my house plants because it's pretty clean. I just want to make sure we get all the dog germs off of here. And the food particles so we don't get sick because it goes bad. Alright, that's a pretty good rinse. I'll take this water that's in the pot and throw it on the plants. Waste not, want not, right? The plants are in pretty bad shape. So, we have ground squirrel or pack rat or rabbit keeps coming over to eat my plants. So that's it folks. We uh, dishes from start to finish. No, it's not an exciting subject, not as exciting as that is going to be. But I just didn't want you guys to think that we were doing things we shouldn't be doing. And if I'm wrong, you can, of course, let me know. That's it, folks. I hope you have a great day.